the uh, the seven on seven today. Did you see something maybe stood out about one of the quarterbacks? Uh, I think what we did is, is switched up the rotation with the receivers. Originally, we we were putting the older guys with brand new guys, so hopefully they could learn from them. Uh, I, I don't know that was fair for the quarterback yesterday in, in, in such a heated competition. Uh, I thought Cam showed on a couple throws the comfort level of the offense. Uh, I, I just I think the, the DBs really make it challenging, and that's a good thing for us. Um, but probably got to see it on film a little bit. But I know uh, Jaden, after looking at film, is a little rusty, you know, and I think it's good to get back in it and get, get kind of that knocked off. Um, I think this will be a pretty good, pretty good little battle here. It seemed like Donovan Ollie on a couple of different occasions used his size and his strength to make a couple of plays. Have you guys been really trying to have him tap into that to where he's using that whole frame to, to pinpoint the ball and yeah. out-muscle defenders? What Donovan has done is, you know, he's, he's a big guy. He's trimmed down. Um, sorry. And uh, he can still make those plays um, with even more technique, I think. But what we needed, you, you can kind of feel the energy of the DBs in those situations, one-on-ones. I think they're 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 a confident group, um, and who was going to be the one on offense to make the play? We have Liam, we have a, we have Max that aren't in that drill, so it's got to be you know, one of the QBs. Um, but Donovan was the one that made a couple of those plays. I thought that brought some energy back to the offense. So that's what it, that, there was some real work in, in that, and I think that's confidence for him. On the secondary side of things, did any of the corners or safeties maybe make a play or two that that uh, stood out to you? Uh, I thought they should have made five plays yesterday, and I counted three today. Um, we're stressing takeaways, uh, and yeah, getting a PBU is good if, if it's time for a PBU. But if it's supposed to be a pick and it ends up being a PBU, we can improve on that. And um, the good thing about this group, pretty much top to bottom, is they're here to get better every day, and they take they take coaching. Uh, I think they they trust that what we tell them is in their best interest, and. That's just, that's just a great job by the assistant coaches getting that feeling from the players. Thanks, Coach. What are you seeing from the receiver group, both good and bad, uh, uh, generally speaking, if you look at the whole group well, right now? Well, they're behind as a group yeah. just because of the amount of new guys. Um, but I think Stribling showed up in spring. I think Stribling has just how he works. He's a strong player, much like Donovan. He can make some of those real – there were two of those plays that with those guys' body types, I think – I don't know if they were both them yesterday, but I thought there was two that ended up being incomplete that in, in whether you say, 50-50 balls, which is kind of more of a downfield ball, but in a, a real contested catch, we expect them to make those because of their strength and their size. Um, I think the young guys were thrown in it yesterday, made some mistakes that, that didn't help um, the flow of practice, but they, they came back today. I thought they film helped them, and they're just getting comfortable with college football right now. Do you really see an open competition at three of those four receiver spots? With obviously Travell comes back, but then you lose the three other starters, and, and it seems like there's two or three guys at each of those three spots competing right, right now. Yeah, what's creeping is, is I think we're going to have, um, and we typically haven't been a heavy rotational receiver uh, offense, um, but I think there's going to be at least two deep, probably three deep that we can count on, and how that plays out, especially nine games before by those things are creeping in my mind. That hasn't been a heavy discussion yet, but you're seeing it's not that there's just four that can do the right thing and get open and make plays. So that is uh, that is something that's on my mind as a reason, especially yesterday and today. You guys have uh, George Hicks playing safety. Can you talk about the, the decision to move him back there and kind of that, that battle for the other safety spot next to Daniel? Well, George is a very smart player, knows the offense. Um, you know, we, we felt like we had good corner numbers um, looking in the transfer safety market to, to increase some depth. Um, it was always something that we had that, that opportunity. We didn't want to do it. Um, and then when I think when we ended up moving on Caleb Ford to men, it became more of a discussion. And George is such a team player, has given so much to this program. I think he, he whatever I can do to play is and help this team was his response. So that, that's, a, that's a sign of a good young man who, who will go into this world after this year. And, and I'd love to see him have some real, real success. 
I think we were talking to Brendan Jackson after this. He kind of had a, a breakout year, all those in the four games last season, and he's, he's really done a lot to improve his body and kind of looks like a completely different guy than when he came in. I know you were in here, but even, even since you've been here, it seems like he's done a lot to improve physically and his strength. Can you, can you talk about that and where Brendan's grown physically since he uh, since you got here? I think the physical I won't see. Uh, where, where I think Brendan really broke out was in, in, in Coop's tutelage, um, really accepting uh, the lifestyle of being a great football player. Uh, again, there, there, there's some high-level people in this program, and you know, and, and he's one of them. He he just cares so much. You know, he, he doesn't just care about his body. He cares about hydration. He cares about health. He cares about uh, getting his teammates better. He's an excellent teacher, along with RJ, as far as taking care of the young guys, understanding that. If we, you know, if we rise all the ships, right, he, we're better. And um, you know, he, he's one that, you know, I hope he never leaves. I know he'll leave us someday, but he's, he's definitely been positive for us. You guys expect to get Dion back on Monday? It's Monday next practice. I would expect Monday. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. All good.